Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're continuing Fight Night Champions. This is episode two. Let's get into it. Let's let's throw it down. Let's make let's make some guys bow down to the king and show them why they shouldn't step to me. Y'all ready? Cause I'm ready. Let's go. I think we're sparring right now. Huh? Huh. Let's go. You wanna work? Let's work. I'm trying to knock out my sparring partner. What kind of sick, twisted mind tries to knock out their sparring partner? Me. I do. Yo, shut up, old head. I know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, maybe I don't. He rocked me. Yo, my sparring partner just rocked. Maybe he trying to knock me out too. He trying to come up in the ranks like your boy. He trying to be in my position. Oh. I got cover up. Hey, I can I can throw hands. I can throw power punches too. Don't clinch. Yo, oh hit. I know what I'm doing. I want to see some speed. Pick it up. Pick it up. Speed and power. Speed and power. And those uh-huh. Here we go. Here we go. He ain't been hitting me. Oh, uppercut. Do you see this? Do you see this? Come on. You're, you're not ready. I can make him bow down in a minute, y'all think? Y'all think I can make him bow down in a minute? Would I be cheesing? Would I be cheesing? Let's see. Come on, pick it up. Will I pull out the cheese? Oh, oh. Come on. What's his head made of steel? What's he, Iron Mike Tyson? The f. Oh, I can't concentrate with you talking in my ear, old head. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sit down, bow down, bow down, don't step to me, look at that, this is exactly why you don't step to me, punk boy, what do you thought he was doing? Thought, thought he could step to that, I felt a little disrespected. Beautiful kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. Now you have no use to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way 
Are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen? I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that Megan. It's not funnier than watching two old heads argue with each other. Old raspy voices. Um, what am I? Oh, you want me to continue? Uh, uh. Welcome, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore, ringside with Teddy Atlas. We have a big night of boxing ahead. Plus, so many are looking forward to our undercard. It is the pro debut for the much heralded Andre Bishop. The middleweight will be facing Remember, the guys, crafty veteran my Lucius Palmer. All, times, all from here, the Aragon fight. Ballroom in Touch Chicago right now. All right, let's give this dude the hands real quick. Something light. Yo, what is this dude doing? Go out there quick out of the gate, and then later on you have the power for one shot at a time. He's gonna be searching them all night, and he's never gonna find them. He playing it smart. He clenching already. You hurt already? Is he is he hurt already? Is he why is he clenching? Yeah, yeah, boy. You think you just you want you ain't gonna steal no fight from me? I don't care what the snowflake said. Oh my fault, my fault. I can't touch this dude. I'm gonna make him come to me. I'm boxing him up. Oh. His hands are fast. I don't know about this, guys. Is champion mode too much for me? I don't know. He might have won that round. Palmer's the kind of guy that could give a young up-and-comer like Bishop some issues. He likes to steal the end parts of a round, kind of like Ray Leonard did against. Hey. Palmer. Has to be careful for that. Never mind. Look at her face. He got. Look at the cornrows, though. All right, let's go. I gotta play smart. He said, don't let him waste time. I got That means I got to run at him. There we go. There we go. He trying he try to steal this fight from me. He a punk. You're a punk. He just wants to waste time. Ooh. Jesus. Andre Bishop got hands. I know he not real, but he he, he got he got hands. He he real in my book. Andre Bishop always got a place in my heart. Oh, that was me. Don't clench. 
He didn't get that many hits on me this round. Oh, soon as I say it. How did I not catch him? Oh, my uppercuts are mean. Uh. Oh, don't leave your face open, noob. He must not have known. He must not have heard. I make noobs bow down and leave their face open. You leave your face open, you can guarantee that you bowing down. Oh! Oh! My fault, y'all. Look at that cut under his eye. And does he have a grill, or is his teeth just that dirty? No, that's his mouthpiece. Never mind. I was about to go in on his teeth, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna let you waste time. I'm coming straight at you. Mmm. Mmm. See, he clenching. He not ready. He isn't ready. I opened up that cut again. on his Under his left eye. I opened it up. Ooh, look at that uppercut. No, you can't help him, coach. You can't help him, coach. Look at my look. His blood is all over my shorts. Look at my right leg. That's his blood. Mmm. All right, coach. You want me to work the body? I got you, coach. I'm gonna see if I can make him bow down real quick. Mm. This dude seems fairly easy. I swear to God, if I lose this fight, though. There we go. Mm. Yeah, he piecing, he piecing me. Yeah, can't let that happen. Mm. Lord! Oh, Lord! Mm. That's some... two ways with it get the rounds out work on things carry them a little bit or go close to look at that blood okay. Okay, listen. You can throw them off with some head. That's it. look at all that blood ain't no head movement gonna help this dude head movement is not gonna help He might be a power puncher, but I got I got a lot of stamina. I can I can throw more power punches than he can. They booing cause you don't want to fight. They want to see a fight. There we go. Come on, come on. I'm trying to get him in a corner. That's why I keep moving back like that. Shut up, coach. I got this. Mm. There we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm trying to open up that cut again. That defense ain't working. Oh! That, that's a hurt piece right there. Oh! That, 
That uppercut! I'm sorry, I'm a little low, Joe, but... That uppercut was me! Uh huh. Body shots lead the knockouts. Boom, boom. Bang, bang. I see blood. He didn't even bruise my face. I see blood. I had his eyes. His eye is sitting on his cheek right now. Yeah. All right, all right, whatever. That's all your blood on my shorts, dude. We went out there and we got that one. I might make this an extra long episode. It might go on for 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to do a 30 minute video. I don't got nothing else to do. I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. All right, y'all, I'm gonna stop it right here. I wanted to give y'all a 30-minute video, but something came up. I'll see y'all next time. Probably gonna upload another Let's Play either tomorrow or late tonight. That's if I feel good. Alright y'all, peace.